Hey guys, what's up? Ruben here from the Midnight Garage Show. Voucher's gonna come over today. He got a new set of wheels which are kind of wide and probably won't fit his fender. So today we're going to roll his fenders with a fender roller. Damn. <laughs> yeah, Wouter's new wheels, OZ Turbos. What are the specs? Uh, 15 inch by 8.5 and, and uh, 195, uh, 45, 15 tire. So if you look closely, you see that it's currently like a 90 degree angle. And the idea behind this is that you keep rolling it until it's flat with this piece. So you keep rolling it and then every time you go a bit further and further and further and then it will be flush with the fender. Well, we had a slight problem because the wheel arch of the EK is so small we had to modify my arch roller, but we're going to manage. Wouter is heating up his wheel arches now because if the metal gets a bit soft and the paint gets a bit softer, then usually you don't crack the paint as much as if you do it regularly. Now, there's no 100% guarantee, but uh, at least we can hope. One very important aspect when you're doing this, as soon as you basically folded your wheel arch from this to this, there's a very big chance that once you're driving, water is going to seep in and it's going to sit there in the wheel arch edge. And you don't want that. So a good thing you can do is basically put some seam sealer in between there and seal it shut. So then that way you prevent water from getting there and well, you can basically prevent rust slightly. So yeah, you can do what you want, but I can highly recommend putting some seam sealer in the wheel arch edge and then put some undercoat in your wheel arches. And basically you repeat the process on all four sides until all your wheels fit. Now most guys that go for a stacked setup, they usually go for wider wheels in the back and then you just have to do the rears. But yeah, it's pretty much the same process on all four sides. Moment of truth. Well, I think that works. Needs more load. 